Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. There are certain champions that I just know are absolutely incredible to use when you are great with them. And even though they may not be the hardest champions in the world, we're talking about Ghost, we're talking about Kitty Pride. In this case, we're talking about Tigra. I'm still not great with them. And so I watch videos with Envy thinking, man, it would be amazing to be great at them or with them, but I'm just not. Um, in this case, my man Trevor took his Tigra to rank 5. And he has sent over a series of videos showcasing why this has been account changing for him. And I look on with admiration and appreciation for not only his skills, but also the time he took to record these and send them over to showcase on the channel. I am going to hide my webcam though, because I think seeing gameplay videos largely involves the uh, appreciation of both champions power index per fight. You can see that this is one of those fights that if you don't have a mystic counter is really annoying and really, um, well, at times frustrating, but Tigra is the opposite. And look at that heavy, and look at the unblockable, special. She melted Hulkling down in 20 seconds, and then used the Loki emoji <laughs> for fun. Here is the standard Realm of Legends Winter Soldier test. is using suicides but when you charge those heavies wow just those that damage alone is pretty striking to me it's been all heavies until you build up the power really fast to an unblockable special too at which point just i mean just look it's it's just not even Fair. It's like the ultimate cheat code, and there's nothing that Winter Soldier can do but be knocked out. So, 47 second fight. I always say we can talk about because it used to be the discussion like, how many hits can, does it take to take down Realm of Legends Winter Soldier? Well, technically, Quake can take him down in zero hits, but it's going to be multiple minutes. To me, it's all about how fast. That's one of the fastest Winter Soldier fights ever. Here we have another on paper, horrible fight, and that is Terax. And you can see that at first, the health is going down big time because of course, Terax is still uh, awakened and still doing his thing, but can still cause massive damage with the specials. Now, I wouldn't recommend this simply because of the health pool loss, but, I mean, it's hard to argue with the fact that it's still a one-shot, even if she lost 96% health. So, that's uh, pretty amazing. Here we have another Hulkling fight. Although, I don't know why... Sorry, Yada Bolt. I don't know why you would choose Doctor Doom against Infamous Iron Doom when you've got that shock damage immunity. That seems like it's a bad idea. Well, who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just want to build up to that special two and fire the incinerates. All right, here you just have the normal combos. Parry heavy. And then an unblockable... Special too. That, I mean, that's just such a fast, beautiful fight. Another 20 second fight. And then here we have against Agent Peb, maybe. Oh, he's putting down Hercules. Now, I mean, the hood is a great counter for Hulkling. So this is one of those things that you think, all right, this is a speed fight. Whoever wins this is going to be able to take down the defender the fastest. 
and I've got my money on Tigra. That is absolutely my bet. There's the heavy. There's the unblockable special too. You will notice in Battlegrounds, unlike the Run of Legends Winter Soldier gameplay, he does not run suicides. Most people, I don't believe, do. Now, I have seen some people who still do and are very good with them. You have to have the right champs and the right counters, but typically when you get to this high level in the Gladiator circuit, you really want to uh, maximize your health. Look at that. And indeed, Tiger was able to take down Hercules before... And so look at the wins. Now, I'm not saying this is all because of Tigra, obviously. Even if he was able to get her every time, uh, that is only one fight. But Trevor, your skills are unbelievable. Just, that's so many wins. All right, here it's Scorpion versus Mephisto. And are we doing a Tigra versus Bishop fight? Looks like it. This is amongst the best, and this is a celestial tier now. This is amongst the best uh, hacks I've ever seen for Battlegrounds. And obviously when I say hack, I just mean a legal, incredible way to win matches. And starting out just heavying through heavy attacks? Bait the heavy with the heavy. And then the unblockable special too. Like, I'm still not good about baiting the heavy with the heavy. But that's... I mean, I am, I am convinced now I've got to at least take my Tiger to rank 4. And with the 8-2 rank ups, I'm thinking that's, uh, that's going to be pretty possible. Here's a fun fight. Normally not so much. Thing. I'm surprised he didn't have his uh, Absorbing Man uh, blocked. This is going back to Gold 1, which is definitely a far cry from Celestial, but still great data. Alright, starting out with just basic combos into a parry heavy, into another parry heavy. Now, this would be normally when I would be worried, but you'll notice that Unstoppable is not triggered with the Heavy. And now he's at that Unblockable Special too. Doesn't do as much damage. And I should probably have asked how many points he has on Mystic Dispersion. But when Thing doesn't go Unstoppable, yeah, it's going to take more time. There's the Unstoppable, finally. But you're able to go through a fight now at 15 rock stacks. I was going to say you could bait the special, but doesn't even care about that. Still just sticking to the same strategy. And a lot of it is just those heavies. There's the non-unblockable special. And just controlling the fight the entire time. That's really my biggest takeaway. Just controlling the fight the entire time. And here we have the start of a, another bishop fight. Now that's what I'm used to seeing. Try to release the heavy, don't release it in time, get clipped. But after two successful heavies, you know, got the timing back down, got the spacing back down is probably a better way to put it. The unblockable special too, though, once you get there, you just sit back and, and laugh, right? I mean, I was trying to use a relic at the end just to be fancy, I guess. <laughs> um, wow. All these fights are so fast. All right, here is one that you, know, you think to yourself, this is not going to be easy. I don't have a, a Hulkling. I don't have an Angela. I don't even have a Corvus or a Cosmic Ghost Rider against Pity. But the Heavy 
and do a heavy is working flawlessly. Wow. You wouldn't think to ban Tigra in Battlegrounds, but after watching this, you just kind of have to. I don't, I don't know if you have a choice. She is evolving like a fine wine in this game. Okay, we have another Terax fight. This is already longer than uh, what I'm definitely used to posting, so I don't want to uh, prolong this video more than I have to. Here is a Human Torch versus Rentra. Again, normally you'd say to yourself, this isn't going to end well. By the way, this is a Gold 1 versus a Platinum 3, so you're thinking also on paper, well... Maybe I'm going to lose the matchup, but Trevor, you saw how many wins in a row this guy put up in Battlegrounds. I doubt he is afraid of any stack of uh, Battlegrounds. So, we're starting out just the basics, but it's all about that heavy, parry heavy. Notice how Galactus, Galen, has not gained any of his abilities, and then you have... The special two, unblockable, in the corner. Such a fast fight. It, it just feels like like it's really not fair, even though, you know, obviously it is. And, uh, and then this is, this is one that I just think, okay, if this goes well, I have almost no good counters for Absorbing Man next to Human Torch and maybe Void. But even Void I don't bring in anymore because he's too... Uh, unless for defense, I guess, but even then, there's a lot of good counters, like, like Kingpin. A lot of people use Kingpin against my Void. Uh, so, he's just too slow. Alright, starts off with an intercept combo, a second intercept combo. Baits the special one with a heavy. Again, part of getting Tiger down is the spacing, which I'm just not great at. Look at that. Now, suddenly... The fight is in full control. And the unblockable special 2 is ready. Leaps into him. This is a very highly rated, highly rated absorbing man that you just make look like nothing. I'm convinced. I'm sold. I'm changing all of my plans of rank ups next. <laughs> Thanks to Trevor. Um, wow. I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's the last video. Perfect. Well, I know this is a much longer showcase than normal, but I am proud to showcase it. Thank you for all of the recordings. I didn't even know there was a Celestial 5. I, I'll never make it out of Platinum, but I'm very thankful when I do make it there, and right now I'm stuck in, you know, the early tiers. <laughs> uh, that's probably because I also only do three fights every two days. Uh, have a good one, YouTube. This was fun. Thanks for watching.